Kesha Prime. I rap, I make beats, I get money, smoke exotics. I do a lot of cool shit. I drip on niggas. <laughs> Since I was two, that's why y'all saw my, my mixtape cover, right? I've been had braids, I've been had all that shit. I've been doing this shit. Since I was a baby, nigga, fresh out the womb. It mean a lot to me because that was my first shit. And like, you feel me? Niggas came up since then. Like I recorded all that shit in a closet at my man Gent crib. What, 80% of them beats was made by me. Like, when Yachty took off, you know, we was bros before all this shit. Like, whenever that Free K Supreme shit came out, that was lit for me, you feel me? That was really lit. That's when I really was like, all right, this rap shit real. That's when niggas start following me, commenting under my pictures and shit. And that's when I put that first day out song. I mean, that was the most plays I ever got. After that, it was lit from there, my boy. If I'm really locked in, bro, I be doing like three songs a day. You know I freestyle everything, so it really just comes. Ain't take out, we gon' sweep in the range. Bust out my watch, I can't fuck with no plane. Run to the money, I feel like you sane. At me and Sita, we'll knock the whole song out. Ten minutes, load up another one. So my work ethic is real good, though. Like, once you get the hang of this shit, you learn yourself, get comfortable with that shit, you do this shit real easy, bro. And I feel like I'm just comfortable with myself now. Shit, Uzi with Chief Keef, 10 Deep with, with Yachty, that guy with Lil Doo Wop, about that buddy, do what I want. I got a few, bro. But my new shit, though, can't wait for y'all to hear that shit. So it's a few secret, like, features out there. Niggas gonna be like, damn, nigga K Pre going crazy. <laughs> first, nigga, I'm the only nigga I really like had an impact on me musically that I remember when I was a little nigga, I was in high school. It was Chief Keef, bro. I remember listening to the game and shit, but the way that I used to listen to Sosa and shit like that, and like Soldier Boy, like in the 10th grade, 11th grade, it was the niggas like that, that I call my influences, my legends, niggas like that. <laughs> Smoking exotics, buying clothes. Uh, I love clothes, bro. Like I had Bape hoodies when I was little as shit. You feel me, fifth grade, retro Jordans. Like 2011, I'll have some 05, like Ted's on or some shit. So I always liked clothes ever since I was a little ass nigga. Like in the Flex Music one cover, I got the Concords on. My mama put me on all that shit. We go to Magic a lot on Monday. I don't really like the club though. I don't really do that shit because I don't like liquor. So that shit lame for me. Hey, I don't really even go out unless it's Magic on Monday. Nigga be in the crib or in the stoop. I'm from Pasadena and I've been in Atlanta since 2013 though. Like when I first came here, I just had like met Bo. Like, that was my first type friend, you feel me? His name was RD at the time though. His name was RD. Uh, we used to just be recording hella. And, you know, we had a mixtape, bro, the, the RD and Casey Free mixtape. Like, we used to record this fucked up ass garage, bro. And he just fucked up my shit and I fucked with his shit heavy. I had it like a busted ass Monte Carlo. I used to scoop that nigga up. We used to go to the city. Like, you got $5 to put in the tank with me, gang. <laughs> Yeah, my motherfucking tape about to come out. I really feel like people really gonna enjoy this shit because there's so much growth. Like, I'm just excited about what the shit gonna do. My last tape was April 2017. That's a whole year, so for me, I was just working since then. <laughs>